The world's first liquid lens foldable smartphone is official. What's up guys, the Mi Mix Fold is finally official. This is Xiaomi's answer to Samsung. For the first time, we have a foldable phone that can actually rival Galaxy Fold 2 when it comes to software because Xiaomi is not banned by Google. They still have Google service access. As we know, Xiaomi doesn't go all the way when it comes to pricing. Just like with smartphone market, Xiaomi once again beats Samsung and Huawei when it comes to the price. They have done some cool stuff, but at the same time, they have taken some weird decisions we'll be taking a look at everything before we take a deep dive big shout out to sponsor of today's video opinion outpost guys i just found a brand new way of making extra money online what if i tell you that you can make extra money online by just sharing your opinion this is by far the easiest way of earning extra revenue you can do it while watching netflix or hanging out with your friends literally you can do it anywhere you can earn cash directly to your paypal or amazon gift card so what are you waiting for check my special link in the description and start earning some money so let's talk about the cool stuff first this foldable smartphone is rocking a breakthrough technology called liquid lens this one lens can do two things it can be a telephoto lens and a macro lens they actually showed off some examples and it looks pretty good as a macro lens it can actually get really really close to the subject other than the liquid lens we have the 108 maybe so main sensor it's safe to say that xiaomi went all the way when it comes to camera similar to huawei and something that i really want samsung to do as well with its upcoming fold 3. now although this phone is rocking a snapdragon triple eight chip but it's coming with xiaomi's own isp not qualcomm so xiaomi is using their own surge c1 chip for all the image processing they explained on stage that by using their own custom isp they have more control over certain functions like white balance autofocus i think the reason behind having their own isp is because of the liquid lens they're using either way camera wise they actually went all in the Mi Mix Fold is also rocking the biggest battery on a foldable phone 5070 milliamp hours so far so good but let's talk about some weird decisions now the inner display is only 60 hertz Xiaomi is a brand that is giving 120 hertz refresh rate to a freaking 280 dollar smartphone and they cannot give 120 hertz to their 1500 dollar foldable phone it doesn't make that much sense the outer display does have 90 hertz refresh rate but in my opinion they should have done this the other way around giving 90 hertz refresh rate to the tablet screen and going for 60 for the outer display definitely a weird decision for the display refresh rate overall it's a pretty interesting foldable phone because they have the access to google services it's gonna be a direct rival to samsung's foldable offering in international markets again let me know your thoughts in the comments section below regarding the mi mix fold the foldable competition has finally kicked off i can't wait to see more foldable phones from brands like vivo oppo Google, OnePlus, and of course, Apple as well in the future. Now today, Xiaomi also confirmed officially that they are actually working on electric cars. As reported on CNBC.com, Xiaomi will be investing over $10 billion in this electric car market in order to rival the best of the best. According to market research firm, the electric car market will grow over 50% with over 1.9 million electric car sales just in China. So Xiaomi has finally decided to take a brand new challenge. They make pretty much every Everything from a toothbrush to a smartphone to a LED bulb, foldable smartphone, and now electric car. This brand has come a long way. So that's all the latest news. Let me know your thoughts on Xiaomi's first ever foldable phone. Do you think it's a great value? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.